Hi, this is Optimization Techniques, an introduction, part one. This is part of the Computational Chemistry course at the Department of Chemistry, Copenhagen University. Concept that is fundamental to the optimization of any molecular structure is the potential energy surface, PES. The potential energy surface stems from the Born-Oppenheimer and adiabatic approximations. The two are usually considered together. The first one is relative to the difference in mass of the electrons and nuclei. It is so large that justifies the considering the movements of the two species as independent from each other. The adiabatic approximation states that small perturbation of the nuclear geometry should not influence drastically the electronic wave function. Thanks to these approximations, the Hamiltonian, the general Hamiltonian for the time-independent Schrödinger equation, can be divided in two parts, one electronic and one relative to the movement of the nuclei. The eigenfunctions of the electronic Hamiltonian have electron coordinates as variables and nuclear coordinates as parameters, as reported here. The solution of the electronic Hamiltonian gives the potential energy of a, of a molecule. So then the term potential energy surface. The concept of a potential energy surface is fundamental to link computed data and experimental values. For example, if one has this kind of energy profile, it's possible to relate the dissociation energy, delta E, to a computed value, or an equilibrium geometry, like Re, to its uh, relative uh, computed data. If one has two species, for example, two different isomers of a, a compound, and it's found experimentally that uh, compound A is more abundant than compound B, the, potential, the relative potential energy surface must have the shape as reported in the figure, where A is relatively lower energy than B. In case of a diatomic molecule, the only nuclear coordinates to be considered is the atom-atom distance. While for molecules with uh, more atoms, there are 3n minus 6 non redundant nuclear coordinates. The evaluation of the potential energy at any possible value of each nuclear coordinate generates uh, what is usually called a hypersurface, or more simply, surface. Nevertheless, commonly, potential energy surfaces are evaluated only at a few selected points of interest. Moreover, to simplify further on, the potential energy surface is usually represented only uh, simply as an energy profile against a reaction coordinate, usually indicated as R. The reaction coordinate can be something simple, like just a bond distance that gets uh, stretched, or more complex, where more molecular movements are coupled together. Way, the best way to evaluate a reaction coordinate is as a relative mass-weighted root mean square difference of the nuclear Cartesian coordinates on the potential energy surface of interest. For example, if what is reported in figure is the potential energy surface of the water molecule, one could take two different structures, A and B, representing two different uh, situations of uh, the molecule and compute the distance r between these two uh, structures as mass weighted uh, mass weighted coordinates this way using coordinates in a bore units and uh, using atomic weights for the masses r can be expressed in a, uh, simply in atomic units